A new study published Wednesday in Nature says Arctic melting could spell disaster for the economy. The study looks at large reservoirs of methane gases trapped inside the shallow ice and permafrost of the Arctic. If the ice melts, the released methane could contribute to global warming. Arctic melting could soon release a 50 gigaton pulse of methane gas into the atmosphere. The study authors describe this pulse as an economic time bomb. The release of methane from thawing permafrost beneath the East Siberian Sea comes with an average global price tag of $60 trillion in the absence of mitigating action, a figure comparable to the size of the world economy in 2012. The article recommends reducing emissions to slow the rate of melting in the Arctic. Lead researcher Gail Whitman told CNN, the world needs to heed the Arctic warning signs. We all need to really pay attention to what is happening because the Arctic is the canary in the coal mine. I've got two kids and what keeps me up at night is that I think that they deserve a future. But the study has already drawn some skepticism from climate scientists. On Twitter, a NASA climatologist posted a 17-tweet mini-essay saying the Arctic was unlikely to experience the dramatic shifts described in the Nature article. And the Washington Post points out the issue has been raised before. Nature, the same journal which published Wednesday's commentary, published a scientific review of methane hydrates and climate change, which suggested the scenario in said commentary is virtually impossible. But a writer for Carbon Brief says despite the article's exaggerated claims, methane emissions are still a cause for concern. If this scenario is at the extreme end of what's possible, that isn't a reason to dismiss the risk of methane release altogether. Any extra methane released from the region as it warms reduce the remaining carbon budget to stay within a certain level of global warming, making the task of decarbonizing harder. According to the Nature article, the methane pulse could be released sometime in the next 15 to 35 years. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Landers. Multiple sources, a broader view.